your holiday tablescapes better than ever. That's why right. we have Abby Hicks here from Tweedledee Design, and this is creative, unique, and I've never seen it before. Well, it's great because it's using that old style of barn quilts, which we've done before here right. on the show, but you're using them to add texture and color to your table. And that farmhouse style is so on trend. It is. It's just fun because you can swap it out, you can move it from your table when you want it, and bring it back. And you can mix it with the modern, too. That's what yes. I really loved about it yep. this time around. Now, Case was making a good point, and I was with him. We would never think to use a cabinet door and make a little no. table and then put a little table on the table. Yes, because it just elevates your design. Or in, and I'll show you how to finish it so you can even use it for food safe. So okay, they're great as serving tables. Where too. do you want to get started? Um, mostly, you want to just find a surface. And I've looked everywhere. I build them myself, but I've looked to see where it's easy for other people. So Joann's has them pre-made. Oh, good. Home Depot, you can go into their pre-cut section. They've got them sanded and cut. Ooh, and with the right sizes. Size so, and they're under $8. Oh, cool. So cheap. And then the wood legs are right across the aisle in Home Depot. They're three dollars a piece. We love Home Depot. They're great. So all you need to do, and this one's a cabinet door, just from a kitchen that we got at the Restore. Which is the Habitat for Humanity. Again, three dollars. They've got a bunch of them around the valley. So you right, got, yeah. right, three dollars. And so all you do is just pre-drill a little hole. And look at how easy I have this a drill. Is. <laughs> look at me like I don't have a drill. Just a I little don't know where bit. It is, but I've got one. And you just screw that in, and look at how easy that is. Now, if you're going to get wood that's got a finish on it like this, you're going to want to paint it with the chalk paint. Okay. Right. Because, because you, don't you don't have to sand it. You don't have to do anything. It can go right onto it. And then once you've got your base coat on there. Did we get it off? Yeah. Get Once off. you have your base coat on, then you can pick a design. Now, I have a lot of designs on my site. You can find them on Pinterest. Basically, a barn quilt is just a geometric pattern that you're painting on. Oh, cool. And if you're good at freehanding, like on this one, I just freehanded Thankful on it. I just That's traced so out cute. around a plate and just did a little loop with the leaves and just you can take a pen and just write on the word that you want and then paint. Idea. My daughter's really into calligraphy right now. She would love she to would do love something that. like that. And then something like this is pretty easy. Yes, and to, yes, and small so that, you know, if you want to use them, like this one that's over here, uh -huh. if you wipe it down with linseed oil, it makes it food safe. Okay. So, where do if you get you, that kind of oil? Just at Home Depot. Okay. It's just in a little can that oh, says linseed oil. If you wipe that on a wood surface, then it's food safe. So, that's cool. Had no you could do a cheese ball and crackers right on one of those trays. Ooh. Or dried yeah. fruits or anything. So, it works both for food and for decorating. Could we just put it out there? If anybody cancels on you this year and you need two extra guests, me and Debbie are more than Sounds willing. great. Yeah, we can have that. <laughs> we don't do dishes, yeah. but we're fine. Yeah, that would be, that would so be very So, what else can people find if they go to your website? We have uh, recipes, design, embroidery designs, quilt designs, and then, of course, all my barn quilts. Right. I love it. Yeah. yeah. Do you sell them as well? I do. You we do. have shows that I'll be at the Queen Bee Market in San Diego in December, I and then that. I have ongoing classes every month. Next, you do. Yeah. Next spring is we have retreats Crazy. coming every few weeks. So if you look on my site, you'll see where the retreats are and. Cool. And sign up for I also like what you did with the mason jars. Yeah, and it's a little more glitzy. Mm -hmm. So I just used a stencil where you can get the little, you know, stencil packs. Right. And just put a little glitter paint on that with some mason jars. That's sugar with a candle and some cranberries and some fresh green. And it's just great. I love it. And then yeah. when you want to clear the table, clear it off, play your games, do whatever You're you want. You're good to go. Yeah. Thanks, Abby. You're welcome. We'll be right back.